Hey guys, so previously we created an Azure Virtual Desktop setup with uh, a customized image and uh, FSLogix profile and persistent desktop. And uh, if you need to watch this video, I'll leave a link in the description below for it. But what if we wanna now add a new session host to the group? Let's say we have two or three or four session hosts and we need to add another one. So today in this uh, video, I'm gonna show you how to add a new session host. So the first thing we do is we go to Azure Virtual Desktop, Host Pools, and we click on our host pool, and we need to create a registration key. This is basically to allow us to add a new key. So we're gonna generate a new key, and it tells you to uh, basically select when would this uh, uh, key would expire, I'm just gonna say until tomorrow, I don't really need it more than that. And we do not need to download it or nothing. Now at this point, we are able to add actually a new, a new session host. So what we do is we go to session hosts and we say add. And basically everything is uh, pre-filled for us because we already have, we're adding just a new machine. Now the virtual machines here, um, you choose your availability zones and what's not, I'm not gonna be having any availability zones. Uh, the image, if you do not have a customized image like me, so now I, I do have a customized image that I'm uh, deploying this uh, virtual machine from, but if you do not, you can click on see all images and you can pick what uh, what you need. Usually we, we, we would go with uh, multi-session, uh, multi-session uh, windows 10 or 11. So you would go with multi, multi-session multi version if you do not have an image, but I do have an image, so I'm just adding my own image. You specify the size of the machine and the number of VMs. So let's say you wanna add one or two, whatever. And those are, the options basically that you select. You select your virtual network and the subnet and the security group. If you wanna join this machine to the domain, which in my case I do, you enter the credentials for your domain admin. Now, if you wanna uh, specify an organization unit in your active directory, you can, but I'm just gonna go with no, and then I can move the machine once it's joined to the computers. And here we can add the local admin account on the machine, username and password. And next tags, review and create, it's gonna validate. And basically once this is done, you just hit create and that's gonna add a new session host to your pool. And that's how you do it. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you and have a good day.